So here we are in the surgery then, and there's one pantograph section with the aerofoil removed. That's the cut that I need, especially because I'm spraying this metallic, and although it's not a very high sheen or a high luster, still going to show every imperfection. So what I need to do now is take one of the driving units and measure carefully on there where this line is going to be. One thing I, I have to do as well the, the, the end of these cars or coaches is rounded to fit the roof but on the pantograph sections that bit's cut out because the 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 pantograph section has its own infill which sits it on it. This means that I'll have to cut carefully remove that piece from there take that away so that the pantograph can fit on there and then actually reapply that onto this. It's side. time consuming and it is quite difficult because, you know, the, the idea is to uh, not slip with the knife. So it has to be done really, really slowly. You have to get into the panel line gently and just scribe your way into it without cutting. Uh, and then just keep doing that until you feel the blade sitting in there comfortably. And you've got some tension in there, then you can start cutting. So I need to cut this now, and I've got to cut this properly. It must be really, really, really clean. That's why I'm not videoing this. <laughs> I'll do this, then I'll show you if I've done it or not. Okay, so that's a flat section cut off. A small piece from there. Where are we? There, it's been removed. By the way, these are my straight edges. So I marked out that side and that side. And then instead of drawing a line, use this tape. Nice and wide so it, it, it holds a good straight line as long as you don't stretch it and pull it. So that's what that's about. Okay, so the moment of truth. There. That's the, the flat piece that's been removed. This is the pantograph piece. If all has gone well, that should sit on there like that. And it does. Okay, that goes on there. And this one. goes on to there that's what I'm looking for that line it's straight against the rest of it the, the, the line that runs through that's there now I should have that both sides the, the process of doing that is difficult there's no two ways about it it's not to be honest, it's not a pleasant, enjoyable task. It's just nice when you've done it. So that's a strain on my eyes as well. I'm going to do this one first and get it all assembled. And then I'll do another one at a different stage. In truth, what I would like to do is if I do the two... The, the, the dummy cars that I'm joining together, if I do those as well and make them the same, then that gives me that gives me four coaches without pantographs on. Currently look there are two. Um, four, yeah, and with 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 this one, that's five. Okay. That's gone on there. I'm really pleased with the fit. I may just 
bring that down it needs a slight bit of adjustment as long as I'm getting that line then I'm happy how I've connected this is I've taken a small strip of plastic card and I've warmed it up and then curved it into the shape of the underside of the roof and then glued that into position and then I've glued that on once that's set I've glued that on to that so I can preserve this this piece has to go on the end so that's going to go on there and I'll use some uh, milliput in there just to take up there's a slight gap but I'll do that and the reason I use these plastic pieces is because I can't just push glue into there because I run the risk of having glue coming through the panel line and I don't want that they must stay clean this has now been prepared and I'm using uh, wet and dry for this from 600, 800 and 1000 grit that's the 1000 just to take off any slight imperfections and also the 1000 is good for just taking out any small surface scratches now this has taken a while to get this to actually fit perfectly on there but it does now and I'm very happy with that it just looks different already it looks like a different train well it is <laughs> so there we are just fitted some plastic card in there these are flexible very thin plastic card that's molded to the shape of the underside and now by applying glue to those three areas I can sit that on there and that will hold the whole thing in place and then when that's set I can take the bottom off get it underneath and do some filler from the inside so I've removed the body from the undercarriage and you can see there that the millipart is holding that very steady that's an incredibly strong bond so what I'll do is later on once that's really gone hard I'll just sand that down smooth and that's all that's on that's gone on really nicely nice and clean preserved that line as I wanted to and I've made a copy or I am in the process of making a copy you can see it in there I just wanted to save one one step closer